Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a little bit of a clean with me. Um, I'm in the bathroom and I am scrubbing it because as you guys know we just moved into this house and you know it's a little bit dingy. <laughs> so I'm getting it to my standards and yeah. Um, right now I'm about to tackle this area. On camera it looks fine but when you're up close to it it has a little bit of like an orange tint in the grooves and it just needs a good scrub. I just have some Tide and OxyClean in the tub and I am going to scrub it with that and hopefully some of it will come off. This is probably the dirtiest house I've ever moved into. And when we moved in, I did like a quick wipe down, but like not a deep clean, you know, because I didn't have time to deep clean. I just needed to move my stuff in here. And now I'm like, it's time. It's time for the deep clean. Like, look at the water right there. It's disgusting. I didn't mop yesterday, so I'm mopping now, but um, I don't mop when he's awake because I use an electric steam mop and it literally shoots out steam and of course he wants to like get near the mop when I'm using it, so it's just not safe, so I only do it when he's sleeping. So this is my closet and there is a massive pile of shoes right here. It's unacceptable. <laughs> so I'm going to build this little shoe shelf I got on Amazon. I will link it below, but it's just like this little shoe shelf. So I'm gonna build this and then we're gonna hopefully clean up most of the shoes. I don't think it's gonna fit every single pair of shoes, but it will still help a lot, I think.
the shoes on here. Is this the most beautiful shoe rack? No. Our last ones in California were way nicer because they were actual like wood. Um, but it fit 21 pairs of shoes. <laughs> so for like $25 ish, I think it was, that's a pretty good. Um, the level, oh, I just realized I can put shoes down there still, like underneath. I can still do that, I guess. But we have these shoes here. Um, the shelves are really shallow, so you can't fit like an ankle length boot standing. It just won't work, so I have them all laid down like that. And then on the side, I have like smaller shoes that I was able to put one pair in each little sleeve, but there is two rows. So yeah, overall pretty good. Justin's over scrambled, mine over medium, and Hank's little baby omelet. <laughs> so, so Justin is flying to Montana today for work so it's just gonna be Hank and I for a few days and this is the first time since we've lived in Florida that he has had to leave for a few days so it should be kind of interesting <laughs> you want to say hi come say hi <laughs> See? <laughs> so before he left to go to Montana. <laughs> so before he went to. So before he left, I went to Marshall's. I just like was like, okay, I want to get to the house one last time by myself. Um, just be by myself for like, you know. 30 45 minutes because in the next few days I will not be by myself at all because I have Hank and I don't have Justin um, So other than like sleeping time, I'm gonna be with Hank the whole time, you know, so um, Went to Marshall's I did some shopping. I'm gonna show you guys what I got Okay, I'm still gonna show you guys what I got for Marshall's but apparently I had to take a shower really fast um, The reason why is because I put Hank down for a nap Here's my cat and um that was my last chance before bedtime to take a shower so i just just did it <laughs> but we're gonna make a pizza and by make i mean put it in the oven so yeah i have this pizza that we got from aldi that my husband bought me it's like an old tradition <laughs> that we used to do um Way back before we ever had a baby, uh, my husband would gag a lot and he would be out of town for days at a time and every single time I knew I was going to be home alone for a few days, he would buy me a store pizza that I could put in the oven and that's what I would eat. I, I just, we just always did that because I like store bought pizza and he doesn't so it was always my opportunity to like stay home and eat store bought pizza and so he did that for me this time um so yeah i just got straight up cheese so i have to put this in the oven i never bought this kind before so hopefully it's good 375 okay oh yeah that's a beautiful sight <laughs> Okay, let me show you all what I got from Marshalls, and then I have to go get Hank because he's definitely waking up now. But the first thing I got was such a good deal. It is these pants, and guess how much they were? They were three dollars. Three dollars for pants at Marshalls. So they are a size 16. Hopefully they fit me. They are a skinny boot cut white jean. <laughs> Oh, three dollars. Can you believe that? I can't. I really hope they fit because three dollars is a really good deal. Okay, I also got this salad spinner. It is the OXO brand. I used to have an OXO salad spinner that my mother-in-law gave me. And when we moved here, I got rid of it because it 
so big and bulky and we were trying to not take that many things to Florida so I picked this one up it was only $19.99 which is a pretty good deal and yeah when I was taking this off the shelf there was an employee at Marshall's who was like oh that is such a good salad spinner I was like oh yeah I love anything that's OXO because it's a good brand and she's like no girl you have to try this <laughs> she was like you can wash your panties <laughs> she told me you can wash your panties in the salad spinner and I was like oh wow that's like really cool even though like why are you washing your panties in your salad spinner you guys anyways she was like yeah like you, you can wash them in the salad spinner instead of putting them in the washer and I was like oh cool <laughs> I don't know I feel like if you were like in a really terrible situation and didn't have power for like so so long and you were out of underwear okay but like if you live in Florida and you probably have power probably should wash your panties in your washer and dryer but yeah this is the salad spinner she's cute she's cute she's a good brand she's gonna last a long time and I'm happy also it said it's, it's the award-winning original pump salad spinner or panty spinner pump panty spinner <laughs> Okay, got a few more things here. The clearance section was so lit. All over the store, every single clearance section, it was so lit. I grabbed two of these foot file things. I had, I already have one of these that I paid full price for, like $4.99 or something. And these were on clearance for $2. These were really well. I'm always wearing flip flops and my heels are always getting crusty. So I use these. <clears throat> I grabbed these sippy cups for Hank. They are by Tommy Tippy. They are a 360 like training cup. So there's no like spout like a traditional sippy cup. It's supposed to be to teach him how to drink out of a cup where you, you know, like tilt it and the liquid comes towards your mouth. It's the same idea. They're really cute designs and they come with these lids for traveling. So yeah it says that this sippy cup is lip activated and spill proof so one more thing for hank some little socks these were 6.99 for six of them so a little bit more than a dollar each and yeah they're really cute oh the tommy tippy cups were 5.99 which i think is a great deal and then i grabbed two nail polishes i got this opi polish in the color give me a lido kiss lido anyways it is like a bright red and i don't think you can see it on camera but it has a little bit of like a satin finish a little bit shimmery but not like glitter you know it's just a little shimmery and then i got an opi top coat i love opi and getting opi at marshall's or tj maxx is always the best deal because at target opi is literally like nine dollars and sometimes like twelve dollars but at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, it's almost always $3.99. Sometimes you can see it, get them for like $2.99 if they're on sale. But really good deal. Um, I grabbed myself some socks. These are Timberland socks. And how many pairs are here? Seems like a lot. One, two, three, six pairs for $4. They're the no-show kind. And I liked these. They seem promising because they have the no-slip grippy thing on the heel and yeah i love to wear no-show socks i wear toms a lot and i like when the socks don't show and i also like when my socks don't show when i'm wearing my gym shoes so it's time to take out the pizza <laughs> yes Ooh, look at the cheese on here. I'm gonna have to clean the oven. 
God bless this pizza. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful? Get down. Hey guys, it's the next morning. I'm about to feed the cat. She's acting like she hasn't eaten in 36 hours and it's been less than that anyways i didn't sleep that good my husband is finally in montana he didn't get to his airbnb until like two o'clock florida time and so he was texting me the whole time updating me and like i just couldn't sleep until he got there because you know my phone kept going off i didn't want to put my phone on silent in case something happened so yeah feeding our cat we feed her hills science diet that's what she eats pink is waking up i hear him but he's not like crying or anything he's just like sitting in his crib talking to himself so i'm going to get him right after i feed this freaking cat because she won't leave me alone so I'm gonna feed this cat, go get him, and yeah. So for breakfast, I think I'm going to be making some blueberry and cinnamon pancakes. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock. I just put Hank down for his nap. I'm going to be filming a video. That's why I have makeup on, <laughs> even though I'm not going anywhere. But I am gonna film a Walmart clothes try-on haul. So if you ever wondered what it's like when I film, this is it. I have the clothes laid out right here, and then I have my tripod, and then a ring light. I actually used to use box lights like way back in the day. Um, but it's so much easier to just use a ring light now I used to have to set up two separate lights and they were way bulkier and this is way better. I look <laughs> I look so crazy <laughs> also Okay, so I'm about to eat some leftover pizza from yesterday With hot sauce. I've been craving hot sauce. So I'm gonna eat it with some hot sauce and i'm gonna watch some hulu on my laptop and yeah i've been watching claws <laughs> it's so good it's so freaking funny it takes place here in florida and it is just such a funny show there's moments where it starts to get serious because it has like a serious storyline but as soon as it starts to get a little too serious something really funny happens and it's just such a great show so if you're looking for a show to binge on hulu definitely check out claws <laughs> my face looks so red i just waxed the mustache and the eyebrow but justin is on his way home from the airport i'm so excited i cleaned up the house because i wanted him to come home to a clean house so i have a clean house we have the living room all picked up all the toys are put away over there um yeah and i cleaned up the kitchen wiped all the counters I like bleached the kitchen sink cleaned the stove 
and it is 10 o'clock so I'm gonna end so I'm gonna end this video here I look so crazy <laughs> why do I put this on the internet anyways I'm gonna end the video here thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye